Abu Marissa Issa for SI.com. And surprise is not a word that I would use to describe the incident that took place in the New York Jet locker room when Geno Smith was sucker punched by a teammate. Because as a former NFL player and somebody who spent 14 years in the NFL, all I can tell you is that in training camp, things like this happen all the time. Anxieties are high. Intensity is ratcheted up by the coaches. Guys are fighting for jobs. And when you have a personal conflict like these two players had, usually somebody's going to bear the brunt of it. It's just unfortunate that it happens to be one of the starting quarterbacks in the NFL. And for Geno Smith, this has got to be really disappointing because in my estimation, this New York Jets roster is the best it has been since they went to the AFC Championship game in Rex Ryan's first two years. And with a new coach, a new direction, a new offensive coordinator, a new way of doing defense, Gino had every opportunity to finally figure it out, especially when they bring in guys like Brandon Marshall. They refortify the defensive backfield with Darrell Rivas and Antonio Cromartie and Buster Screen. This is a very good team. A young quarterback could have benefited from it, but now he's going to be out eight to ten weeks. And as Todd Bowles said, his new head coach, that doesn't mean that he is going to be anointed the starter when he comes back. A lot of that is going to depend on the play of one Ryan Fitzpatrick, who, in my estimation, has fallen into a pot of gold. So good luck to him moving forward, and good luck to Gino, and hopefully he can come back and finally figure this thing out as being an NFL quarterback. I'm Boomer Esiason.